So here, what will happen? Once you create a launch template, then you just need to use the launch template to launch an EC2 instance. So once you select that launch template, then you will be able to quickly launch an EC2 instance onto your AWS. So let's switch to AWS console and see how we can create our launch template. So here is my AWS dashboard. So first, let's go to the EC2. And here you can see uh, there are no instances running. So first check like what are the parameters which we need to launch an EC2 instance without a launch template. So click on this launch instance. And here you can see here we need to specify the name, what kind of a EC2 instance name you want to put. Then here you need to define the image, whether you want to go with the Ubuntu, Amazon Linux, Red Hat, OpenSUSE. So there are various uh, uh, images which are available over here. Then you need to choose the architecture, as I mentioned, like what kind of architecture or CPU you want to have it. Uh, third, we need to define the instance type like t2.micro, t2.nano, or what kind of a, a CPU wants uh, for your EC2 instance. Then uh, you need to create a key pair uh, for your EC2 instance. So here is the key pair section, and here are the network setting. And in the network setting, you can also see the security group. So here you either you need to select the existing, uh, which you have already created, or either you can create a new one. And if you go further than here, you can see the storage details. Like here, you need to specify what kind of a storage you want to associate with the EC2 instance. And finally, here is the other advanced detail where you will find the user uh, data section where you can write your own script, which you want to uh, have it on as a uh, pre-boot configuration. So what I want to say over here is that you need to have these details always ready with you so that you can manually key in and then you can launch an EC2 instance. But if you are using an AWS launch EC2 launch template, then you don't need to do these steps again and again. You can have all these details ready inside your AWS launch EC2 launch template and then you can reuse that template again and again to launch an EC2 instance. OK, so now we have seen like how to launch an EC2 instance without uh, EC2 launch template. Template. let's take a look onto the launch template so here just click on this ec2 dashboard and here in the instances you will find an option for a launch template so click on this launch template and if you haven't created any launch template before then this is how your dashboard will look like so here you just need to click on create launch template so click on it and here first of all you need to uh, enter the name of the template so for example i'm just gonna put ec2 uh, instance with docker and apache 2. so i'm just going to create a launch template for ec2 instance where i will pre-install docker as well as apache 2. Uh, so template description uh, so this template is for uh, apache 2 and docker so i'm just putting a, some meaningful description over here uh, auto scaling so i'm not going to touch the auto scaling part here yet Template tag. So here you can create a tag. Uh, so here I will put, uh, let's say, name. And the value is like EC2 uh, with Docker and Apache 2. OK, source template. I'm just going to take uh, in another section when we want to use the source template. But as of now, we don't want to use any pre-existing source template. So I'm just going to close this one application os image so here we need to chill, uh, select the os image which we want to have associated with our ec2 instance so here just click on browse more ami so here you can select the amis or the machine image which you want to have into your ec2 instance so here i'm just gonna choose uh, ubuntu so here you can see this is ubuntu and i'm just choosing it the free tier eligibility because i'm just doing it for the demo purpose and here you can see i'm just uh, choosing the x at 86 uh, for my AMI. So just click on select. All right, so now we have select the AMI. So now the instance type. So what kind of an instance type you want to launch? So I'm just gonna select uh, t2.micro. But in case if you need to have some higher CPU, then just choose the correct one for you. Okay, so key pair login. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a new key pair here. So let's say uh, SSL. So this is the name I'm just going to put over here and create key pair. So here it will uh, download me the public key, uh, sorry, the private key and the public key is already associated over here. So here you can see the key pair name. All right. So just keep in mind that I have already, it will download you the private key for you. So that's already with me. 
okay so network setting i'm just gonna uh, select some security group which i have already created uh, so here just click on uh, i'm just don't want to create a select uh, security group i'm just going to select a security group so here i'm just going to select some of the security groups so i'm just allow 22 and i'll just allow port 80 i'm just going to show you like uh, what are those so here if you go to aws and if you go to vpc and here you will find an option for a security groups so on the left hand side here is the security groups so here i have created some of the security groups already so this is one and this is second the security group is pretty simple i have allowed the port 80 uh, from anywhere so anyone uh, can access this particular port 80 because i'm just gonna install apache and apache by default will run on port 80 so that's why i have created this specific security group second security group which i have created is for ssh so that we can ssh into our ec2 instance when we will be launching our uh, ec2 instance so these are the two security group which i have already created and those security group i have uh, attached over here so here into this template if you go down then here you can see the port 22 and this is another security group id uh, which i have added over here so now port 22 and port 80 are open for this particular ec2 instance okay in the advanced networking configuration i'm just gonna i'm not gonna change anything i'm just gonna keep it close ebs volume so i'm just gonna go with the default one here you can see it's uh, uh, like eight gigs of capacity so i'm just not gonna change that one in case if you need some higher then just uh, choose that correct value over here okay so resource tag i think it's okay i just don't want it and in the advanced detail so here i'm just going to choose a uh, user data uh, where i would like to uh, create or i would like to install apache as well as docker onto my ec2 instance whenever i launch an ec2 instance and if you are not familiar with the user data then i just check my previous part number seven where i have shown like what are the user data and how to use the user data script to pre-install some of the software packages but here in a brief here i have already created this shell script so i'll show you so whenever this ec2 instance will be launched so first it will install apache 2 and after that it is going to install the docker inside that ec2 machine all right so now i have pretty much filled in all the details for this launch template so what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna create a launch template over here and here you can see uh, it has successfully created a launch template so just click on this launch template and here you can see this is the launch template which we have just created now i'm just going to use this launch template to create my ec2 instance okay so let's go back to uh, our ec2 dashboard over here and here you can see there is no instance running so i just wanted to launch a new instance using my launch template so here uh, you will find an option to launch instance but we don't need to select the launch instance uh, button we just need to select this drop down and here you will find an option launch instance from template so click on it and here it will ask you to choose the launch template so here in the drop down you will find the launch template which we have just created that is ec2 instance with docker and apache 2 i'm just going to select that one and if you go down then you will see that all the details are already pre-filled so here you can see this is our ami uh, this is our t2.micro this is our key which we have created and these are our security group which is running on uh, which is allowing port 80 and port 22 after that the storage volume here you can see 8 gigs and after that in the advanced detail you can also see the user data uh, where I am installing the Apache 2 as well as Docker. So it becomes really easy when you create a launch template. So you don't need to manually key in all those details. Now what you need to do after selecting the launch template, just click on the launch instance. And here you can see our uh, EC2 instance has been launched. So I can go to EC2 dashboard once again, click on this. I'm just going to refresh this one so let's check over here just i'm just going to remove the running filter and here you can see this instance id is into pending state so it will be soon created so i'll be back when this instance is up and running all right so now my instance is up and running and here you can see the status which is running so i'm just going to click on the instance id over here 
And first of all, we are just going to check and verify our Apache 2 instance with, uh, by accessing their home page. So I'm just going to copy this public IP address from here and I'm just going to hit enter. And here you can see our Apache 2 has been installed successfully. All right, so now we have verified the Apache. The second thing which I just I would like to verify is the Docker, whether we have installed Docker or not. So for that, we need to SSH or we need to log in into our this Linux machine. So for that, what we need to do, we just need to click on connect over here. And here you will find the SSH client instructions for SSH into your EC2 machine. So first of all, uh, we just need to uh, run this command to change the permission of our uh, key. So if you remember when we were creating a launch template, then we downloaded our key. So this is the downloaded key, which is available onto my local system. And this is the private key. So what we need to do, we just need to copy this command and I'm just going to open the terminal over here. Just run the LS command so that I can show you that key which I have downloaded. So here you can see this is the key which is already with me. So what I need to do is I need to change the permission for that particular key. So I'm just going to copy this and run this. OK, so now here you can see uh, it has these permission. Now we need to change it to the read permission. So that's why we need to run this particular command. Otherwise, we will not be able to SSH into our machine. So I'm just going to run the LSLART command so that you can see. So here you can see now it uh, only have a read permission. OK. I'm just going to clear this and again I'm just going to go back over here and here I'm just going to copy this SSH command so copy this one go to your terminal and paste this thing and after that you can just simply hit enter and it will ask you whether you want to connect type yes and here you can see now you are logged in into your EC2 instance which we have launched using our launch template. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to clear it and uh, let's check the Docker version because uh, our intention was to verify whether we have installed Docker or not. So here I'm just going to run docker dash dash version command. And here you can see our Docker has been installed onto our EC2 machine. And also we can verify the uh, Apache 2 service. So for that, I'm just going to run system CTL status Apache 2. And here you can see our Apache 2 server is running and that we have already verified uh, by accessing the home page of our Apache 2. Here you can see. Let's terminate this instance and I'm just going to show you the next concept where we are going to use already our template which we have already created and then we are just going to create a, another template using uh, the base template as a source template. So first of all, let's terminate this instance and click on terminate go to instances. So here it, you can see it is shutting down. OK, uh, so let's move ahead. I'm just going to close this one also and go to launch templates once again. So here you can see we have already created this launch template. The next thing which we need to do is we need to create another launch template. But this time we are just going to modify a few things. So here I'm just going to choose EC2 uh, instance uh, with Apache. So I don't want to install Docker. I just want to install uh, Apache onto this uh, EC2 instance. So here template version description, I'm just going to uh, skip because it's not mandatory. Secondly, uh, source template. So this is important. So now we have already have one launch template with us. So I'm just going to reuse this launch template to create a one more launch template. So here I'm just going to select the launch template, which is this one. And now we are just going to go ahead and modify a few more things. So here you can see it has already prefilled quite a lot of details for us, but we need to modify a few things. So here you can see, uh, I'll just reiterate once again. So this is the AMI. Uh, this is the instance type. This is the key pair, which we have already created. Then these are the security group uh, storage volume, which is which is eight gigs resource tag which we have not inserted because it was optional and the advanced detail you can see uh, the user data script so here it is also installing apache 2 and docker but i don't want to install the docker for this launch template so what i'll just do i'll just remove this section from here so what we are doing over here just uh, now we are trying to reuse the existing launch template and now in the second launch template we don't want to install docker we just want to install apache 2 so that's why we have just removed those script and after that we can just click on create launch template 
and here you can see it has been created go to launch template and here you can see so now we have a two launch template one with docker and apache 2 and the next launch template is only with the apache so now we are just going to launch one more EC2 instance using the, sec the uh, second launch template which we have created where we only want to have Apache 2. Okay, let's go to the EC2 dashboard over here. Uh, again, here in the launch instance, I would go and select launch instance from template, click on it. Here we need to select the template. So here I'm just going to select the EC2 instance with Apache 2. I'm just not going to select the Docker and Apache. I just want to have Apache 2. Select this one. And here you can see it has already prefilled everything. Uh, AMI, uh, instance type, t2.micro, key pair is already selected. Security group has been filled in. EBS, the volume is like 8 gigs of capacity. Resource stack is empty. Go to advanced detail and here you will see the uh, packages which we want to install. So here I'm just gonna install Apache 2. And after that, I'm just gonna hit launch instance. And uh, you can see it has launched. Just go on EC2, click on instances, uh, remove this running filter. And here you can see it is in a pending state and this old one is already terminated. So I'll be back when this instance is up and running. Let's refresh this page once again. And here you can see the instance is now running. So let's click on this instance ID, copy this public IP address, go to new tab and hit enter. And here you can see our Apache 2 is up and running. But uh, we just wanted to verify one more thing that we have not installed the Docker because we only wanted to install the Apache 2. So for that, what we need to do, we just need to click on connect and I'm just gonna copy this SSH command and I'm just gonna open my terminal. So I'll just clear it and just check whether you are you have the key so yes i have the key and i'm just gonna key in the ssh command over here and hit enter type yes to connect it and now we are uh, logged in into our ec2 machine so i'm just gonna clear it so that uh, you can see the command which i'm running so i just need to run the command docker version and here you can see uh, the command docker not found so which means uh, it has only installed the Apache 2, but it has not installed the Docker. So with the help of uh, launch template, this is how you can differentiate and you can create a different different template where you can uh, achieve some custom things uh, with your launch template. So here, as you have seen in the example, in one launch in one launch template, we have created uh, we have installed Apache 2 and Docker, but in another launch template, we only installed the Apache. I hope this uh, short tutorial on AWS EC2 launch template will help you to understand this launch template much better and you will be able to use, use this launch template into your project.